What's up, y'all? Five minutes left until the Wuthering Waves reveal live stream. I have been looking forward to this, been interested to see what kind of game it is. Lots of hype. It's now, now starting to generate a big motivator to play this game is the gameplay itself. But the story, the story in the world gotta be good too. Wuthering Waves reveal live stream. Hello everyone and welcome to the Wuthering Rays Reveal Livestream, Waking of a World. I'm Matthew, I'm your host today and I have some lovely guests joining us for tonight's broadcast. I'm going to introduce you to Gaming them one content by creator. one. Let's start off with you Rex, one of our content creators here today. Hey guys, Rex Lin here. We meet again in another Wuthering Waves Livestream. I'm here with some wonderful guests. Back to you, Evian. My name's Havian and I'm a video content creator specializing in RPGs. I'm Is this hosted by today, CCs? And I'm looking forward to connecting with you all. Thank you so much for joining us today. Those are our two content creators that will be joining us for the broadcast today, but we still have other guests. Let's start with you, Rebecca, because I don't think we need to introduce you too much. As soon as you start speaking, everyone's going to know who you are. <laughs> I hope I can be the one to embrace all that you are and share with you all that you carry. Oh, nice! I'm Rebecca Yeo, voice actress for Yang Yang. I can't wait to meet you in Wuthering Waves. Oh, she's very charming. And I like how they drop all their socials. joining us. Hi, I'm Zekia, also known as Aru Rin, and I'm happy to join you. I think it's nuts that Zekia is there. And to share details about Wuthering Waves. Been following her for a while, so to see her up here being basically hosting, uh, that's pretty nuts. Joining us for the broadcast tonight. Let us now introduce you to Wuthering Waves for what we're going to be covering on tonight's broadcast. Wuthering Waves is an open world action RPG set for global release on the 22nd of May PT. The game will be available on the Epic's Game Store on PC. It'll be on Android as well as iOS. It features a high degree of freedom in combat, as well as a vast expanse of the overworld exploration. You will be taking on the role of Rover, who wakes up in a world filled with haze and looming Of threats. Rover? And you'll tread along a path towards your lost memories. Is that a default name or is that a title? That have special abilities, the resonators. Resonators can exert their fortes through visible portals on their bodies, tacit marks to wield different abilities. They are going to be your loyal companions aiding you during your thrilling adventures. They have tacit marks? Awesome. Is that like the mark of the Lassie from Final Fantasy 13? Yeah, I'm aching for a challenging battle with the Resonators. I'll definitely use Yang Yang as the main oh, character. Yeah, good choice. <laughs> <laughs> and only Yang Yang. <laughs> all right, that's, that's enough for now. I mean, if I voiced a character, I, I would totally keep them so in a party at all times. All of you, as well as everyone back at home as well. It's a promotional video for Wuthering Ways. Let's take a look. This will have stickers. I wonder how long this stream is going to be. The pressure builds, I push back Pulling on the threads of fate The cords within these fleeting moments A lot of people are downplaying the character designs. I think they look great. And you know what? The gameplay kind of shows that the colors are a little bit more muted, a little bit darker, but I think it's pretty vibrant. It could be pretty vibrant. Again, we'll see. Oh, hello? I know that they changed this game a lot from closed beta to closed beta. I'm hoping that over the course that they didn't lose the vision or identity that they wanted to push for this game and that it becomes just a collection of responses to player feedback. Ah, the question though, going, do I want to be a guy or a girl? In Hawkeye Star Raw, I went with Kalis. I don't know, the guy here looks pretty plain. And the girl, like, in comparison, of course, I, I'm not, I, I think she looks great. Would being the guy matter? Is it the same thing? Is it like Genshin where, like, Aether, uh, Aether or L Lamine have 
they're like actual distinct characters. Whereas in oh, Hawkeye Star Rail, awesome. it's one the thing same character. You just chose the gender. Miss with the music. Mm -hmm. Now we're about to step into a brand new chapter for Withering Waves. You know what? No matter where it a takes us, a brand new us, chapter. Uh, Yang Yang will always be there for us. Maybe I mean, isn't it technically the two? first chapter? Oh. I mean, we have a very, very special video from uh, Rex to share. Let's oh. take a quick look. <laughs> Their set does look pretty comfy. You're awake. Let me see. I mean, his makeup looks all right. <laughs> no, you don't know why you're here. It's a border city and a fort. This is a choice. It's very crucial to the safety of Huang. For the beginning of the stream. <laughs> this is the center of the Atheric Sea. Hey, I'm Karina Reeves, the voice of Encore in Wuthering Waves. I'm so happy to be here talking all about Encore and the official release of Wuthering Waves. You can spot Encore in a crowd. She sounds like that one character in Reverse 199. She and Alto really shake things up in the story and bring a whole lot of fun to the game. Or Reverse 1999, something like that. still a mystery, but hold on tight as more will be revealed. Wuthering Waves is already a fantastic game. I can see the efforts made by the team to create brilliant characters, unique storylines, and thrilling combat. I'm so excited for you guys to dive in. Things look like a cute character. Sheep three. Uh, uh, where was I? I hope they don't lean too, hey, too much James on the, the childlike characters. Alta. It's so awesome to finally And this fool looks like a four star. <laughs> I'm so excited to be able to join everyone here and talk about this incredible game. Wuthering Waves can't come soon enough, and I'm loving seeing all the hype for it. And I really hope that the game yeah, the hype on its official release. Like them like putting a posting all over what Times Square. I mean, who like, wouldn't? Just look at there was glasses. people were worried that they Just weren't marketing this trail. game well like it was going to be another uh there's more to punishing gray raven nature and but i think they just saved all the budget for well, the end if it isn't my loyal patron what do you wish to inquire about today? which is good because that's how Hello, you know I'm recency Jordan, bias the voice of Chian. i am over the moon to talk to you today about wuthering waves this guy looks pretty sick Jian was originally a medical professional and was later motivated by the righteous cause to protect the people of Jinjo. Now, as a medical the general of Jinjo Garrison, hmm. he fights with firm convictions and a strong sense of faith. I've seen all the anticipation the Wuthering Waves is receiving online. People seem to really love its unique design and thrilling combat gameplay. And I hope even more people will get to experience the world of Wuthering Waves on its official release. Wait, Epic Game Jian Store? The Midnight Rangers. Protecting our lands and people is my solemn duty. Should you is it going to have its own launcher, to or do we have to do it through the Epic Game Store? To help. Welcome back. Now, I know that everyone here wants to get to know Withering Ways a little bit better, so let's explore that a little bit more, shall we, with a fantastic minigame that we have planned for everyone here. Minigame speed Q&A. All right. We're going to test your knowledge of withering. Hey, look, it's the buttons that Sparkle handed out in Panacone. I think it's interesting that uh, the five people that are hosting, four of them are co are content creators and then one voice actor. Very first game that we're going to be playing, which involves all of these buses. Ooh, how much of the live stream is gonna be this? I think they said content creator like seven times already in the live stream. And it's only been what forty-seven. Oh, sorry. 17 minutes. Three. You've got is, this. Is it called the floater? The levitator. That's All right, rotate. Floor. Get another content creator up there. Uh, <laughs> the sensor, yes. The sensor. It brings me great joy to see you, Rover. Adventure with me and my willy? Plants talk in a silent and sincere language. The two kids in the game. May it only stay two. And that they don't keep adding. <laughs> oh, that's so pretty. Oh, 
All right. They're really pushing the the world here. It's like post-apocalyptic, but still kind of overridden by nature. Okay, motorcycle. Ooh, these character, these uh, creature designs, pretty neat. The Fraxidus plans to advance another moment. Uh, I can't decide, guy or girl rover. What, do, what should I do? Offer yourself up to be my prey. <laughs> no one knows you were a patroller. You can't prove it to anyone now. The secrets I hold might be bigger than you imagine. If you really want okay, to Okay, okay. You need to survive this first. Now you'll behave. They're really pushing her as the Kafka of this uh, <laughs> of this, this universe. Way, it's finally happening. Overthrax the Thronodian of War would be real. Overthrax the Thronodian. Oh my god, that's a tongue twister. Chaos, warding off external threats. Attention all troops. Take position and get ready to engage. Troops? I thought that guy was a doctor. This will be our final battle with the Thronodian. Okay. Again, I had no context because I never got to be in the closed beta. May victory prevail the lasting night. I will pray for your safe return. Weathering waves. Okay, I just noticed something interesting at the end there. It seems like the new story is gonna center around a showdown with a crownless. Yeah, but the new the story. story the end, it looks like an. A they hint here crownless? and there that like there was a story and then they changed it. So and just the way boss. and just the wording. Sure a new boss. It showed Rover fighting it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm super excited to see all the newly added stories in version 1.0. Well, yeah, right there. Explain the official content. Just like version 1.0. Yeah, you know. Okay. So uh, me, uh, someone who just got here, just it makes me feel like I missed out on something. After a devastating disaster, mm -hmm. while many who participated in CBT2, I mean, no, I'm all for them improving the things, but like, Jinjo. at what point while is it Jinjo just like a completely different, prosperity, like vision in every corner? Mm. Threats of tacit discords, unpredictable anomalies of the etheric sea, and encroaching mysterious Fraxidus. Apart Fraxidus. from the original four acts released during Ooh. CBT2, this version will also new game with a whole new, new list of glossary terms act to learn. Five, rewinding raindrops, and Act Six, oh. Grand Warstorm. Rover will gradually reclaim some lost memories during exploration of the world. Surpassing the lament and reaching for the truth amidst all these obstacles. Meanwhile, in version 1.0, companion stories for the following characters will be available. Oh, companion quests? Ying Lin and Ling Yang. Ying Lin. Stories about the resonators, including a recollection of past events. Alright, let's start with three. Retroact rain, an unexpected encounter, and rumors about the beasts of Jinzhou are waiting for you to experience firsthand. So that means the new content means that we're going to have new maps, right? Yeah, so as the stories develop, the players will unlock different regions within the Jinzo territory. New maps. These include the Jinzo city. Again, the, plain, the context. Bay, this hasn't been released yet. So when they say new maps, law, forest, what that implies is that there are old maps. <laughs> Technically, everything is new. As this whole maps, game is we new. We have the Norfolk Barrens <laughs> as a location of lore significance in the open beta. It lies adjacent to the Desert Rock Highland, north of Jinzo. <sighs> this ancient battlefield serves as the front line against TD outbreaks. Uh, players who are in the must ex exercise extreme caution. I believe Norfolk Barrens is the one in CBT2 where they seal it off, and there's yeah. actually a huge cannon over there. So I really, I'm really looking. Forward okay, to that I place. think I'm starting to understand how to watch this. Basically, 
It'd be as if there are several, well, not several, but a handful of live streams that they assume you've watched before watching this one. This is my first time watching a live stream of Wuthering Rape's content. I don't know, I just I figured it was something to wait for. Why am I bleeding? Oh. I saw that ape. That's a pretty sick boss. That That's reminiscent of a uh, one of those robot bosses from Near Automata. Or near replicant. Show us gameplay. I wish that they. I don't know. There it is. I mean, that's the gameplay. Clap, clap, so clappers. The that you can expect, you know, they appeared in the video that we just watched. You, you get to meet them in Wuthering Waves and tell me, what are your initial thoughts after watching that? I can't believe it. Like, we already have challenging bosses and they're adding more. I'm looking forward to fighting them. Yeah, after what I saw, I'm looking forward to fighting that one as well. <laughs> right? yeah, they're so out of the loop. Appeared, it seems like a monster that didn't appear in the previous betas. Mm. Well, it's great that you mentioned that because the dev team is actually... It just feels like this whole live stream is... So I can give everyone a it's like peek. just a so bunch of... Con it's like content creators who got to experience everything beforehand and just, they're just talking about their experiences of, the of previous so closed betas and are now like excited about this new... Nodian during its dawn update stage. Now, slash its actual release of the game. The internal energy surges, the possible de detection methods against it have failed, so its threat level is, you know, can't, can't really tell me what that Sounds looks like. Sounds very powerful. Yeah. 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 So I believe that comedy against the strong enemy will definitely give everyone a really thrilling and rewarding. I'm, I'm just saying, my advice. Yeah. Yeah. So they should, cool things they should uh, uh, tailor this live stream for someone who doesn't know anything about Wuthering Waves. They just did a marketing push. There's tons of new eyes on this game as a result of all their marketing. So everything that they're talking about, there's no context. is the first character you will meet in Wuthering Waves. Oh, that's her. Her gentle demeanor and quiet strength and companionship will be your guide as you journey through the game. However, as the story develops, and as Yang Yang grows in skill and confidence, is the end of her hair discover, feathers? There is more to her than meets the eye. Wuthering Waves is a sprawling. Oh, what is? Just one whole side of her that introduces us to memorable characters. That's a pretty graphics, interesting character um, design. Kuro Games has created a dynamic world that evolves based on the player's choices, and I really hope that the Wuthering Waves community falls in love with it as much as I have. I hope I can be the one to embrace all that you are and share with you all that you carry. Are they going to pull out the buzzers again? Dubbing in helium. Oh. <laughs> all right. Line. Oh, I see where this okay. is going. You're going to have to dub it through helium voices. We're going to raise your pitch. And uh, we're going to make this a little bit uh, of a contest now. I yeah, mean, no, that's playing. cool. I would like to know more about the game. The lines in time before the healing runs out. The council of failure. Maybe I'm uh, maybe I'm expecting too much from this live stream. I just I think they just assume that people already know all the the basic details of this game. It called me crazy, but I was kind of hoping there'd be at least like some presence from the devs or the directors, maybe. Oh hell yeah! Get that <laughs> helium rip. The use of this power and fight by your side will confront evil wherever it lies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, oh, I'm kind of I'm kind of going along with the vibe that they're going with. Although, perfect. I want to know more about the game. <laughs> All right, 35 minutes into the live stream, we're doing a mini game about helium. I'm gonna say, um, shout out to Zekia for being up here, you know? Every, I think, a lot of cosplayers would dream of a position like this. To participate actively in, like, a gaming franchise or show. 
I do have some really exciting news that I want to announce, not only to everyone here, but everyone back at home. Okay, so okay, I'm something, so something. I'm share that all of the milestones for the pre-release of Wuthering Ways have been reached. Oh, So we have nice. surpassed 30 million oh. pre-registrations. Oh, oh, okay. As well as I thought we were talking about game development milestones. So okay, we're... Thank you so much. They... What? Sur didn't they surpass 35 not mil? Not just for supporting today's broadcast, but also for supporting Wuthering Ways in general. We really appreciate all of your support. And because of that, the development team is going to be releasing rewards to everyone globally as well. And I have... Let's go, five-star so picker. For reaching all of the milestones. All players across the world will be able to receive 20 lustrous tides. 20 rolls. All right. 100 asteroids. A sigil. I, I don't know. As well cool. As Yay. Credits. An advanced resonance potion. You get 10 of them as well. And a range of I mean, to, weapons. A lot of gotcha game ads. They talk about free stuff. So this, this is so nice. I'm glad we get free stuff. Begins, like kind of like the bare minimum I expect from a release like rewards. this. We can't thank you enough for all of your support. Thank you. We really appreciate it. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, so Starting from the opening on May 22nd PT, players can use Radiant Tide to participate in the character convene event, Prevail the Lasting Night, and obtain the featured five-star resonator, Jian. At the same time, they can use Forging Tide in the Weapon Convene event to obtain the featured five-star weapon, uh, Verdant Summit. Then starting from gonna deal with PT, weapon. players can participate <laughs> in Character Convene event. I'm going free to play. To obtain the sweeping declaration. I can't. I don't have. I have too many gotcha games to, to, to pay money for. I'm gonna see how far I can get with uh, free to play. In both character convene events, players are guaranteed a five-star resonator after up to 80 convenes, with a 50% chance to get the featured resonator. If the resonator 50, is 50? The, <laughs> resonator, the next five-star resonator is guaranteed to be the featured resonator. In yeah, but how many pulls? And what are the okay? Convenes, players are guaranteed to obtain. The All right, there you go. Weapon. That's the hard pity, the gang. Five-star weapon is guaranteed to be the featured weapon. Also, there will be featured 5-star resonator trials during the character convene event. Players can try out Jian and Yinlin to master their skills ahead of time. Players can also use Lustrous Tide in the standard convene to obtain resonators and okay. weapons to boost the strengths for battle. In standard weapon convene, players can select a 5-star weapon for targeted convene. The selected 5-star weapon can be switched at any time during convene. Uh. So now they're, they're finally getting into the game details and they're going through it so quickly! What the heck? After sinking so much time into these mini games, I mean, they're charming, but still! All of that could have been spread throughout these past, what, 41 minutes? To make it easier for players to obtain resonators, we will introduce a beginner convene event. Players can use Lustrous Tide to participate in Utterance of Marvels, the beginner convene event. In this event, oh, she's very cute. Summons the, the girl in the middle. Resonator. I've seen the uh, a trailer of her already. Two attempts less if you attempt ten convenes Okay, at once. yeah. In don't make words, it. Don't make it too obvious. We're reading from the teleprompter. Times forty to obtain a five-star resonator. <sighs> mm, that sounds good, but these are all just regular content, isn't it? That's true. Yeah, I feel like many players might not be satisfied. Is there any kind of like immediate bonuses they can get? Okay, okay. Uh, I'll introduce the bonuses. Oh. While we're kicking off both the character convene event and the beginner convene oh, at the same time. Man, slamming through it right it now. If we couldn't get the resonators we want, but here is the solution. Oh. After obtaining a five-star resonator from the beginner convene, the beginner five-star resonator convene of choice will follow. Oh. Here, players can pick their favorite standard five-star resonator for targeted convene. Pick? Yep. Oh. With up to 80 convenes, they're guaranteed to get a desired resonator. That means All right. everyone can nab at least two five-star resonators from these events. That oh, is clap good. it up, clap it up. Wow. Guess that we don't good. have to worry Yay. about Yay! Yeah, I mean, additionally, and there is an additionally, players can also obtain afterglow coral or oscillated coral as extra items during convene. Afterglow Coral can be exchanged for resonator wave bands of standard or featured resonators. Convene tokens and other valuable items. Oscillated Coral can be exchanged for convene tokens and development materials during each event. Wow. That, that means you can accumulate Coral to, you know, upgrade... The okay, that translates to me as, y'all get some free stuff. Wow. Cool. This, this, is, this is great. Is there anything else? 
Well, what do you think? Is there more? Yeah, for sure. Oh. <laughs> Version 1.0 will also include many simple and easy events. Players can receive lustrous tide and radiant tide by logging All right. into the game Just daily. Just go logging in daily. Logging there you go. That's an instant reward. Four star resonator. Sanwa. Oh, wait, Sanwa. Yeah, yes. yeah, free Sanwa. Yay, we got a free four star. Let's go. Yeah, continue my dream. I've got a question though. Can yeah. we get Yang Yang? Yes, nice. Yang Yang will join everyone's team in the Prelude. Everyone. Oh, yeah. oh, fantastic! But it's like it's Yang like Yang when March and Don Hung joined. She's just a free oh. unit. I don't know. I might Aren't break they the one game. and the same? <laughs> Depends. I want Rex Yang. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. I mean, I would too. <laughs> now, During question. Journey event, Yang Yang. Can increase Is she a lesbian? <laughs> Asteroid times 1,600 and a standard five star weapon of choice reward. Uh, that's cool. So leveling up, we get to choose a five star weapon. That's amazing. Absolutely. Wow. So many rewards. Let me highlight other featured events. First up, we have the Rumbling Hollows event, where oh, he's players a bit can echoing. take on the Tower of Adversity to get the four-star Resonator Yuan Wu. Tower of Adversity. Wow. Along with other rewards. Okay. That's cool. Is that the also, Spiral Abyss? Also, of Elizabeth Realm, the roguelike gameplay will be available to challenge in version 1.0. In this event, players can obtain random elusive echoes, metaphors, and special buffs for Resonators each time they enter the dungeon. By applying different combinations, players can experience different battle styles. Players can also earn rich rewards, including Asteroid and Phantom Echoes. But that's a lot of Asteroids so far. That's a lot. Sure. I don't know what Asteroids are used for, Speaking but okay. Battles, the time-limited battle event Alloy Smelt will also be open. In this event, players can experience the accelerating battles of Resonator's rapidly advancing abilities and obtain Asteroid, development materials, and other rewards. Even more. Yeah. So, lots of rewards. I've already lost count myself. <laughs> yeah, you lost count. I've I've lost track <laughs> of what of what shit we're getting. We're getting a lot of stuff. That's cool. I don't experience. know what the context is or what they're good for, but if I I could, this event involves players mm -hmm. to conquer as long as we get more pulls for the five star banner, so the main banner. That's all that most players are gonna be looking for. Around places and so growth I growth we items. See parkour coming over here when Sanha was announced. So I to see <laughs> yeah. in the game as well. oh, damn, that's that's another thing. Yeah. In uh, Thank you in Honkai so Star Rail, I have so much there. items to upgrade a unit anytime I, I get the unit. So it's just gonna be another okay, game where I'm gonna have to hoard all this stuff again in order to properly to level game, up so units. Let's hear from our voice actors and actresses again. Hello, I'm Samantha Dakin, and I'm the voice actress of Baija. Hopefully, Baija. you'll get to know Baija. Baija a little bit more through this introduction. Baija is a dedicated researcher, and although she often talks with coldness and distance, she's quite approachable. Dang. Researchers and doctors in this post-apocalyptic world are hot. Which has been proven through her tireless efforts in the study of remnant energy. Weathering Waves is already a fantastic game. I can see the efforts made by the team to create brilliant characters, unique storylines, and thrilling combat. I'm excited for you to dive in. I am Baija, a researcher at the Huashu Academy. Let me witness Hua where Shu. this encounter will take us. Hello, this is Harriet Carmichael, and the voice of Chisha in Weathering Waves. Chisha. I'd like to tell you a little more about the hero of Jinjo, Chisha. So to me, uh, Chisha is encouraging, she's always energetic and straightforward. She's able to utter her thoughts without hurting anyone's feelings. I think she's the kind of hero... She seems like the, uh, the happy-go-lucky character in this world. Is already receiving high praise for its unique design. You can already see her let mark over here on the right. The or sorry, her left. Audience ...once people get to experience its gorgeous, enchanting world on its official release. Jinjo Patroller Chisha, you can always call on me if you ever find yourself in a pickle. Hi there, I'm Claire Louise Connolly and the voice of Tao Chi. Tao Chi Tao works Chi. for the Ministry of Development in Jinzhou. Oh. Though she seems late, a lot of, a Tao lot of Chi Chinese sounding names that I'm going to have to get used to learning Jinzhou how to and a pronounce. And support to the city's defense. Xinzhou. But perhaps more importantly, Chi. she's a good listener and is always willing to help people in trouble. 
Weathering Waves is already a fantastic She looks really game. cool, though. I can see the efforts made by the team to create brilliant characters, amazing graphics, storylines, sound design, and combat mechanics. A very and interesting combination of pink and black. To delve into the world. Time to work? <laughs> oh, no more lazing around, then. It is time for yet another minigame. More chances to win stickers this time round. So <sighs> if you want to, to try them. Hey, yo, food? Oh. One of them yeah, has the spice. The is in the detail of the food because the, the design of the game is remarkable. So among these four long buns, though, um, one of them might contain wasabi, but that's just a small thing. Uh, so, <laughs> wait, wait, what? Sorry, what? Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, let's go. They better not take a tiny ass bite. They better like eat like half of it. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, okay. Oh, is she crying? Is she crying? Oh no, this is a tough one. <laughs> Come on, girl. That's like, oh, that's bite size. Game. You should be able to. You, you should be swallowing by now. Yeah. Oh, she's dying. She's dying. Tears? Tears? Oh, oh wait, no. what if they all have wasabi? Ooh, bleh. <laughs> One of them spits it back up. Mm -hmm. I... Anyways, I am so hyped to uh, download and play Weathering oh. Waves. Okay, right. This is just... but also right after this. You know what would be sick? If for their first anniversary they do something crazy like Honkai Star Rail's concert. Like, a lot of people are saying that there's no way they're going to be able to, to be nearly as big as a Hoyoverse game. But, you know, they can grind it. Oh, there you go. They got a Wuthery Waves bus! Oh, yeah, and those two cosplayers look really sick. <laughs> Dude, as a cosplayer... The opportunity to be able to just tour around and take like pictures and or in this case video to promote a game That's literally like every cosplayer's dream to be paid to cosplay like this Bro, her chest is about to pop out of that outfit You know what I'm gonna go for the female rover Yeah, I decided I love Ooh, merch. Yeah, merch. There's merch. Oh, good news, of course, because Wither Ways is about to launch a brand new merch project. In oh, fact, yeah. there's been new one merch here project? The oh. Look at our big brother over here, the crownless figurine. Oh, my gosh. oh wow. Yay. It's part of the new merch project that's going to launch. I don't know, hey. dude. Wow. He looks really imposing. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, if you have it- Bro, out, if you want a gotcha game time, merch to sell, you don't- you, you don't ship the, game, the right? enemies, yep. you ship the and waifus wow, and the husbandos. Is, wait, that's- There you go, figurine. that's what yeah. I'm talking about. This figurine captures Young Yang's battle posture in great detail. Well, that's actually pretty sick. This a chibi figurine of GN. Is yeah, yeah, see? Before? In addition, an ecological exploration supply box is under development at the moment to oh. celebrate the official release of Withering Waves. The box contains various items um, and it showcases. They have a collector's edition? In the game. Besides that, there's a lot more Wuthering Waves merch in the works. So for more information on related pre-sales and sales, just follow just put the all, Wuthering just Waves social media Get the account. waifu figures we'll out. That's what people possible, want. So stay tuned. So players can head on over to the okay, app the 21st. store. They can head on over to the official website, the app store, or the Google Play store to get the game. But that's not all. The official open beta is scheduled to kick off at... Nice. <laughs> What official open beta is that? Is that with the Did she? Did he misspeak? As well. so I thought this was a launch. On our social media channels for updates and for the pre-order for Mac users. Mac gamers. Okay, this isn't a launch. This is just an open beta. Right after this live stream ends. Good call. Hi, I'm Chase Brown, the voice actor of Male Rover. I'm glad to have the chance to talk about Rover and Weathering Waves. In the story, he seems Rover so enthusiastic about it too. Past memories. Actually, it kind of matches his uh conflicts. His he demeanor. to remain unshaken and true to himself. A new journey awaits, brimming with novel sounds, stories, and fragmented memories. Hi, I'm Jane Jackson, the voice of Female Rover. I'm really excited to talk to you about Rover today. 
I really you sound really excited to talk about her. Have exploring the world as Rover. She is surrounded by so many intriguing mysteries that begin to unravel as the storyline progresses. Okay, so I'm their name the is Rover? To it. Weathering Waves is a hotly anticipated game that has been meticulously developed and refined by the creators. I'm excited for its launch and for the gaming world to fall in love with Weathering Waves. Let me be there for everyone as we head toward our shared future, leaving the past behind. Hello everyone, this is Naomi McDonald and I'm the voice actor for Yinlin. Yinlin is a wielder of electric power. She gives off an impression of ambiguity mm -hmm, mm -hmm. whilst achieving like her own goals. You got However, reddish hair like Kafka, she got the little dots here like sparkle. I'm excited mm. for players to delve into the world and most importantly, meet Yinlin. I will make good use of this power and fight by your side. We'll confront evil wherever it lies. All right. Hmm. Now it is time to tally she up seems all the like a lawful good. The, the, we don't have any more mini games. I was hoping that she'd be a little bit more chaotic. We have today whether stickers actually matter. Before we wrap up, we have one last surprise for all of you. So oh, here we go. The game is free to play. Live. Thank you so much for joining us. Bye, everyone. <laughs> Bye. Thank you. Nice. Yay. Nice touch with the confetti. Hi everyone, 我是Solan 终于又再次和大家见面了 完全尝试自主研发及自主进行全球发行的一款。Due to limited experience, they're painting themselves as the underdog. Fangxiang才可以真的让我们把这款产品以一个更好的面貌带给大家。我们也希望可以通过明朝未来持续的运营，向所有的漂泊者们展示我们开发组全体同学对做好这款产品的。信念和强大的战斗力 this is a very different uh, direction as far as like hating themselves because Hoyoverse obviously are the uh, uh, Hoyoverse is the dominant force in this space you know so in comparison Kuro games with the way he's talking too Makes it feel like they're the underdogs, and they're like they're, they're really pushing to have this be a success, which is good because they put a lot into their marketing budget, and I think it's work. I think it's gonna work out for them. All right, we got free stuff. Keep it real, despite the challenges. Hey, yo, keep the content coming. Uh, and I think that's all you really need. Bye-bye. We got to speak to one dev. Oh, nice little greeting. <laughs> they actually look really cute. Oh no, I'm blocking you, uh, young, young, young. I think that's it. All right. Eh, I mean, it wasn't so bad. I think that was a pretty charming uh, live stream. I, ne I didn't catch the any of the other ones. This is my first introduction to Wuthering Waves from an official source. I mean, I've been seeing a lot of stuff from content creators talking about tips and tricks and also drama, apparently, that's coming up with Wuthering Waves. But other than that, I did watch some live streams of gameplay. Uh, I, again, I've 
I've been hoping to get into the past closed betas. They didn't get into any, so I'm just kind of watching other players play in and get their own uh, perspectives and initial impressions of the game. I'm, I'm gonna be going at it pretty casually, kind of just similar to how I approach Honkai Star Rail. Honkai Star Rail, I was not expecting to be that dedicated to it. I just started a character, I just played it alongside friends, and we're just talking about our experiences. I actually compl complained a ton at the beginning of Honkai Star Rail. Uh, one, one big complaint being that I really hate the <laughs> space station and its music. Really random. I was being, but I was being very nitpicky. So I imagine going into Weathering Waves, I want to be, I want to come in with an open mind. I, I don't have any expectations kind of molded by Genshin because I didn't play Genshin. So this will be my first action RPG open world uh, Genshin-like game for a lack of a better way to describe it. And I'm excited, mildly, mi uh, mildly excited. I hope that it can, Wuthering Waves can carve out its own identity in this space and that it has longevity. You know, and that really depends on the direction they go with in terms of content. Uh, what keeps players coming back for more. I hope it's not too grindy. I hope the world is interesting. I hope that the char- Above all, I hope the characters are interesting. If the story is garbage, I don't imagine myself continuing to play this game. I'll see. I'm hoping that it's free to play friendly. At least in the beginning, I'm not planning to spend a lot of money or spend any money really just see how far i go i still have to decide between the male or female rover i don't agree with people saying that the characters look bland in comparison to genshin i think genshin is going to be like the standard that everything is going to be compared to but i do i do like the more realistic approach it still has pretty bright colors i still think that it has some life into the world even though it's post-apocalyptic and i do like the character designs now I think the next part that I have yet to see is, are they actually well-written characters? Are they compelling characters? Or are they gonna be like tropes, like in anime? Three years of development. I'm actually surprised. I was expecting it to be longer, considering that the past year-ish, they've just been reacting to feedback and changing up the game. I heard that, like they made a lot of fundamental changes, like fundamental changes to story, fundamental changes to characters. It's kind of nuts the kind of feedback that they responded to. Like I think one of the feedback items was that uh, a character's voice was literally changed because they didn't, people didn't respond well to that character. So, I mean, you know, sucks to be that voice actor who was voicing that character. I'll be streaming it on twitch.tv forward slash my name is Dozer. Feel, to, feel free to catch me there if I if there's any interesting clips I'll be sure to upload them to YouTube and thank you for watching I hope you guys have a good rest of the day I'll catch you in the next one